When we began using pseudoscan, we thought that the results should be predictable and uh, consistent with length-dependent distal neuropathy. So we expected the numbers to be abnormal first in the feet. To our surprise, we started seeing some patients in whom abnormal numbers were only in the upper extremities. And uh, it was not one or two occasions, but it consistently repeated in many patients. It uh, gave us another avenue of uh, exploration of the diagnosis, and uh, some of those results correlate very well with cervical radiculopathy, with focal mononeuropathies, and uh, uh, it may even be uh, correlating with spinal cord disorders. And this was a surprise, and this was a very interesting uh, train of thought that we are working on.